In Daniel chapter 8, Daniel has a vision of a ram and a goat. And you can read about the vision in verses 1 through 14. But then in verse 15, Daniel is trying to get his mind wrapped around the vision when the angel Gabriel appears to help him out. And here's what we're told. This angel was so imposing that Daniel became terrified and fell to the ground. Then as Gabriel was speaking, Daniel faints. Gabriel had to literally wake Daniel up and help him back to his feet. Now, I don't know what your perception of an angel looks like, but Daniel's reaction gives us a stunning picture. This angel is not like Cupid with hearts and arrows. Something about Gabriel is so overwhelming to Daniel that he falls to the ground and passes out. I've I've never seen an angel before. And after this description, I'm not sure I want to because what Daniel saw terrified him. And what Gabriel says is very interesting. He gives a specific time when the reality of this vision will occur. Later in the time of wrath, that's during the Great Tribulation, when God pours out His wrath upon the earth. And then Gabriel clarifies, what you have seen pertains to the very end of time, often called the Day of the Lord in Scripture. Gabriel again emphasized the time frame at the end of his explanation when he says none of these things will happen for a long time. Now, I'll leave it to you for you to read through the interpretation of the vision. But here's a problem to consider. Many believe the vision of this chapter has already been fulfilled in the transition from the Medo-Persian Empire to the Greek Empire 100 years before the birth of Jesus. So what about the references to the end times and the day of the Lord? The answer is what some would call a prefigure of a person referred to in the book of Revelation as the Antichrist. See, even though this prophecy was fulfilled in the person of Antichus Epiphanes in the Old Testament times, it will also have a fulfillment in the Antichrist who will appear, I believe, in our time. And just as the Greek monarch Antichus Epiphanes rose to power with force and intrigue, persecuted the Jews, stopped temple sacrifices, and desecrated God's holy temple, so will the Antichrist that comes at the end of the age. Daniel chapter 8, it's a vivid prophecy with real-world implications that will help us discern the times in which we live.